Hi everyone, today's topic is forecasting. The first question is, why do we need to forecast future demand? If you're selling perishable products, products with short shelf life, you need to plan your production based on forecasted demand because your products will be good for a short period of time. Even if you're selling non-perishable products, your production facilities have limited capacity, so prior to a peak season, you need to build inventory based on forecasted demand. We'll focus on our time series methods. So what's a time series? A time series is a collection of observations over time. For example, you're collecting the daily usage of raw fish in your restaurant. So every day you record how many pounds of raw fish are used. So this uh, on this day, you use 370 pounds. On the next day, you use 400 pounds and so on. And this is an example of a time series. And time series methods are quantitative methods that use time series data. So what sh steps should you follow? First, collect data on sales. And next, identify a pattern in your data set. So you can see a horizontal pattern or a trend in your data set or a seasonal pattern. And next, use the pattern to find the appropriate forecasting method, apply it to your data, and make forecasts. And finally, evaluate forecasts. For the rest of this uh, uh, lecture, we're going to assume that we are done with the first step. So we already have our data set that's available. And the next step is to identify a pattern in your data set. So let's uh, look at some possible patterns. The first possible pattern is a horizontal pattern. Let's see what it looks like. On the x-axis, you have the time. On the y-axis, you have the daily sales. And if your data set stays, at, uh, stays flat at some constant level with some daily fluctuations, then your data set is horizontal. Next, your data set can show a definite trend. You can see an increasing trend like this or a decreasing trend like this. Next, your data set can be seasonal. That means you see a certain pattern repeated every year. So in the first year, you see a peak at this time. And in the second year, you see a peak around the same time. So. This is seasonal. Once you identify the pattern of your data set, next, you need to choose the right forecasting method for your pattern. For example, if your data set is stationary, horizontal, you can use either the moving average method or the exponential smoothing method. If your data set has a trend, you can use the linear regression method. And if your data set is seasonal, you can use seasonal factors. Now let's look at some examples of the time series data. In the first example, we're looking at the total building and construction activity in Australia. And these are the approvals each quarter in millions of dollars at 1989 price. And uh, we collected these observations from September 1973 to March 1995. To identify the pattern of this data set, we need to plot this pattern, this data set. So I'm going to select the, the data points, go to Insert, and click on this. So what kind of pattern does it uh, does it have? It looks like the overall trend is increasing. So we see a definite uh, increasing trend. Let's look at another example. So in this example, we are looking at the monthly Australian beer production from January 1991 through August 1995. So what kind of pattern does it have? So let's select the data set. Go to insert and create the 
a scatter diagram. So uh, what kind of pattern does it have? It looks like it's a horizontal pattern, uh, but is it seasonal? The, is it repeating a certain pattern over and over again? To see this, let's plot the last 24 data points. So let's cook. Let's select the last 24 data points and plot them. So this is the first year, and this is the second year, and it looks like they're repeating a certain pattern every year. So this is also seasonal. Now let's look at another example. So in this example, we are looking at Australian monthly production of cars and station wagons from July 1961 to August 1995. So let's plot this. So it looks like uh, these data points are increasing at the beginning, but it's uh, it's it stays at a constant level. It's horizontal uh, uh, later. Now, next, uh, is it seasonal? So let's plot the last 24 data points. So select the last 24 data points. So this is the first year and this is the second year. So it looks like they are repeating uh, this pattern over and over again. So again, this is seasonal. 